so see here topology is very simple i will take one switch here and i will take one router here i am taking this router and then i will take one pc here and this pc we will connect to the switch and from switch we will connect this to the router like this and here you can change the name of the device you can put here r1 okay and you can put here sw okay and then we can write here ip whatever we are using example here i am planning to use 192.168.1.1 slash 24 we will use this and here inside this one in switch we will use ip 192.168.1.2 slash 24 in PC, we are going to configure the IP 192.168.1.3/24. So this is the IP schema we are going to use. Now we need to configure the SSH or the telnet. So if you see here, I will write the lab name here. We can write SSH lab. And configuration we will do. I will open the Notepad. We will do in the Notepad the configuration configuration is very simple first time you will feel difficulty after that it will be easy only so here you will write ssh lab here then we will do first r1 configuration so you will write r1 configuration enable config t if you remember you need to move from the privilege mode to the user mode you will write enable then you will write the config t to move from the privilege mode to global configuration mode then you will change the name of the device with the host name and you will give the r1 so device name is changed to r1 now you need to assign the ip address so if you see this interface f0 by 0 so you need to assign the ip address how we will assign we will write interface f0 by 0 then click enter and write ip address whatever ip we plan to assign here 192.168.1.1 you will write here 192.168.1.1 and give space and here you will write 255.255.255.0 and write no shut here okay this is a basic configuration and you can put the enable password also i will write enable password abc and you can create the user abc password is also i am creating abc so i created one user i created uh, an enable password this is a basic configuration we are doing from starting i done that one now we need to do the ssh configuration so if you want to do ssh configuration we will write crypto key generate rsa this is a command you need to write crypto key generate rsa here after that you will press enter they will ask you so you need to give the number how many bits in the module you want to use so i will give example 2048 okay after giving this one we need to enable so i will write ip ssh version 2 <coughs> version 2 then after that what we will do we will write line vty 0 to 4 means 5 guys can access same time then the command is transport input ssh then login local login local means check the local database check our local database this is your local database so they will check the local database here this is the ssh configuration and how we can access here i will divide this notepad and i will write here how to access ssh so if you want to access this one you will write here ssh space dash l and you will write the username and ip address then password so let's do here see here from here to here i can copy and paste from here to here this is a configuration i copy here i will go to the switch the router i will paste this inside the router cli okay and if you see i pasted everything is good here then after that i will paste this also this command crypto key generate so they will generate the key here and also here before doing the crypto key generate we need to define the domain name here i forget that one we need to write so here somewhere here you will write ip domain 
domain name you can give abc any name you can give ip domain name so here i will copy this both thing i will paste here same time if you see this domain name it taken and when we write crypto key generate they taken this router name dot domain name and they are generating the key they are asking us the how many bits in the module we will use and choose a key module greater than 512 may take a few minutes so we need to take more only so i will take here 2048 any number so it will generate and now i can write ip ssh version 2 <coughs> and you can see here version 2 is enabled if you take 512 it will generate version 1 so anyhow i taken 2048 so it is generated the key as per the version 2 and i put this command so ssh version 2 is enable here you can see ssh version 2 is enable here now we can copy and paste this one this is the lan vty 024 means five guys can access same time here we are writing transport input ssh transport input ssh you can see here Line VTY zero to four transport input SSH and click enter. And now our SSH configuration is done here. Just press Control Z save the configuration and go to your computer and you can try to go to desktop first assign the IP address to the computer here. One ninety two one sixty eight one dot three. This is a default subnet mask and right here one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot. 1.1 this is a gateway go here go to command prompt write here ssh dash l and username is abc and space and write the ip address of the device ip address we configure here 192.168.1.1 .1. and press enter it is asking password what is the password abc now you go inside if you write enable enable password will ask you are inside the router right show ip interface brief you can see you are accessing the router if you want to exit you can exit so this is a ssh configuration ssh is more secure compared to telnet now we done this one and we are saying okay this is good let's do the configuration in uh, what we can say eveng and there what we can do we can capture the packet and check data is encrypted or not as we are saying whenever we are trying to access the data data like if anyone capture our data it will uh, clear text when you are using telnet but here it will be encrypted so we need to verify that one so for that purpose